Hi, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. And as you can see over here, my roses are starting to put on fresh new growth for the year. I've done my pruning. It is time to give them their first feeding of the year. And the first thing I focus on is their nitrogen requirements. I'll talk about why that is in a minute here, but I want to give you some guidance on nitrogen fertilizer and how much to apply, how frequently throughout the season using real measurements, things like cups and teaspoons to give you some idea of the scale of nitrogen you should be adding to your plants as they need it throughout the season. Let's go. So I hate teasing out information. So what I'm gonna do is go in reverse order here. Start with conclusions, and then I'll talk a little bit about how I arrived at that. The conclusion is that for a medium-sized shrub rose, or say a 10 square foot patch in your garden, you would need to add something like 0.02 pounds of nitrogen per year. Now, when we add pounds of nitrogen, or when we add fertilizer, we're not adding nitrogen directly, we're adding percentages. So if you looked at uh, these two measures here, this is a cup of alfalfa. Alfalfa is about 2% nitrogen. So in that case, you'd be adding between two and three cups of alfalfa to get that 0.02 pounds of nitrogen. Now this fertilizer here is more concentrated in terms of nitrogen. It's a synthetic or chemical fertilizer. So assume you're using something like uh, ammonium sulfate in this case, it's around 20% nitrogen, that's far more concentrated than the alfalfa. In that case, you'd be adding something like two teaspoons per year. Now, this is the annual requirement, so you wouldn't heap it all on at once. That risks the chance that you could burn those roots if you apply it all at once. The risk is much higher with a chemical fertilizer, which dissolves into the soil quicker than the alfalfa. But either way, I would break up your application. So in the alfalfa's case, if you're going three cups of alfalfa over the course of a year, I'd probably break it up into half cup increments, starting from your first pruning, say February or March, and then moving through the months and then stopping in something like June or July. Uh, and with the chemical fertilizer, I might start with a half teaspoon first thing in the season and then apply a half teaspoon uh, three more times throughout the season again stopping in July. That's my recommendation. All right, I'm going to show my work or at least link it below the video here and uh, I show this so that you can double check it. You can compare it to your own situation and adjust the recommendations as makes sense. So happily in horticulture and agriculture they often for many crops report nitrogen requirements uh, separately from other nutrients and I'll talk about that in just a minute uh, and from the guide that I looked at one that I found useful was a Maryland guide on the production of cut flowers which I thought translated relatively well over to the production of roses. Uh, they recommended either one pound, two pounds, or three pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet, and that's easily enough converted down to just the number I talked about in 10 square feet. Uh, now you could also convert it to 100 square feet if you had a larger garden, but for a, a small, medium, or large size shrub rose or a climbing rose that takes up about three foot by three foot area, I considered that to be about 10 square feet, and that's where I got the number we talked about. Now maybe you should start any conversation about garden fertilizer with a recommendation to get a soil test. Well I'm getting around to that now and do I recommend a soil test? Yes, uh, it is a good idea and it'll guide you in many many other ways. However, when it comes to nitrogen recommendations they are a little bit different than the other recommendations for nutrients in your garden because the other nutrients tend to stick in the soil profile a lot more tightly. Uh, phosphorus for instance will bind to that top layer of soil and hold there indefinitely until you used by the plants or washed down to a lower level of soil where it can be used. So for nitrogen though, it tends to volatilize or wash out of the soil very quickly. And for that reason, uh, we often talk about nitrogen applications as something that needs to be done annually. And it's really only a question of the amount and to push your plants to their highest potential. If you were talking about something like corn, which would have a higher nitrogen requirement, something like uh, three pounds per thousand square feet if you converted it out. So uh, higher than what I recommended. But what you do anticipate with the corn is that, of course, you grow the crop, then you take the whole crop off the field. So the nitrogen requirements are much higher in that case. When it comes to cut flowers or roses, you're not actually taking all of the material out of the field. So buffing up with an application of uh, alfalfa, of uh, compost, of manure, or a small amount of chemical fertilizer each year should be enough to keep it going in that peak range. 
So my bottom line recommendation of other nutrients besides nitrogen is to wait until you have identified the need before you supplement them in your garden. And the way you would know that is through a soil test. Critically, this is something I see in the top two or three recommendations on how to fertilize roses, for instance, is that you should add a half cup or a quarter cup of Epsom salts annually to each of your roses, which is complete nonsense unless your rose is absent or deficient of magnesium. In that case, it helps, but how do you know that? A soil test is the way to go there. So uh, with nitrogen, I'm going to say it's borderline okay to supplement without uh, doing a soil test. But for everything else, you pretty much do have to know what you're missing before you try to replace it. All right, that's all I had for you today on nitrogen supplementation of roses. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any questions, please drop those down below the video in the comments. I'll see what I can do to help.